in spite of what the other side says, and in spite of the maybe 14 or 15 hectares over there, not 14 or 1500, 14 or 15, in spite of that, you are the real patriotic American and we were talking about how great it would have been to call Ted Kennedy and tell him what happened in conservative Republican Cincinnati. Here's what happened. 1,400 people showed up at the University of Cincinnati to talk about health care. 1,400 people. Probably three or 400 were opposed to the bill. Most of the rest were supportive of the bill. But only of these 1,400 people, you've seen the television, you've seen the screaming yell. Of these 1,400 people, only about 100 were rude and nasty and angry. Only about 100 out of 1,400. You know what? Those 1,400, those of those 100 people, they couldn't shut down our town hall meeting. And those 100 people aren't going to shut down our health care efforts. Ted Kennedy understands that progressive government and social justice and economic issues and health care are moral issues. Senator Kennedy understood that part of his faith was the question of moral questions and the issue of equal justice and the issue of health care for all. That's why he never quit. That's why nobody in this crowd is quitting. That's why we're going to get health care with a strong public option. He and Chairman Dodd, who was filling in when Senator Kennedy was sick, he asked me to write up the language of the health care bill to establish the public option. I help write it. But I do know that the public option is going to work and the public option is going to be part of the health insurance plan. You know why so many other people have caps, an annual cap, if they're, they have good insurance, they get very sick, they have forty or $50,000 in bills from their cancer, they get canceled because there was a cap on their insurance. You know why the insurance companies do that? You know why they have the, the pre-existing condition? You know why they discriminate? Because the CEO of it $24 million, they got to find a way to pay him. In those, those days, come October, November, December, no prediction of the date, just a prediction that it's going to happen. Come October or November or December, when people gather in the White House and President Obama passed, signs the most important bill of our lifetimes, those days will be over for the insurance.